photo, Brian Spurlock, Eddie, finishing with a triple-double of 26 points, 11 rebounds, and 13 assists, LeBron James was perhaps the primary reason the Cleveland Cavaliers were able to defeat the Toronto Raptors 113-112 in Game 1 of their second-round matchup. James, however, begs to differ. Talking with reporters after the game, James criticized his performance and lamented how he wasn't efficient defensively as he wanted to be. But while James was disappointed with himself, he was quite proud of his teammates, who he believes led Cleveland to their Game 1 victory. I definitely wasn't as efficient as I would like to be, James said. I missed a lot of open looks, a lot of open threes that they were going under. A lot of floaters in the lane. Because of the injury I had in Game 7 I didn't have the opportunity to get on the court this morning on yesterday as well, so, but, at the end of the day the only thing that matters is to try to get a win, and my teammates were unbelievable tonight. They stepped up when I wasn't at my best, they were phenomenal. James added, Kev kind of struggled in the first half and Jeff picked him up. Then Kyle had his second half and Kev came back in and had an unbelievable second half, just a monster on the glass. JR was consistent all game with his ability to shoot the ball. And Double T once again he just picked up right where he left off in Game 7. Just being a monster that we have grown accustomed to on the glass the last few years and just making his free throws and giving us extra possessions. It was an all-around team win for us and everyone contributed tonight. We definitely needed them. For Cavs guard JR. Smith, who hit five three-pointers and finished with 20 points, Cleveland's role players needed to step up because James can't do win them games all by himself. We've just got to keep chipping in as much as we can, Smith said. He can't play Superman every night. He had some good looks, they just didn't fall. Kyle hit a big shot, Kev hit shots. It's our job to pick him up, James will need his teammates to continue to support him and the Raptors will look to bounce back from their Game 1 loss in Game 2 on Thursday.